Hey everyone, we're going to be tying a clink hammer style variant. This is a great style of fly that you can really expand upon. So the lower end of the body with this curved shank hook sits below the water. And the upper half with the hackle and super fine stays above. Great to use during hatches because it gives the fish the look of an emerging insect. Tie a few of these up and try them out. Okay, first we're going to use our 1167 from Daiichi. These are great hooks, they're pretty affordable, and they're easy to use. Big thing is just to make sure you got the vise set up right so that you can work from the top down and access this back end. Start your thread here, we're using 6 out black. We're going to grab some polypropylene yarn, this is light gray. Fold it over your thread, bring it down to the shank. I usually put two wraps down and put a few in front, a few behind, and then we're creating a pair post or a parachute post just like we normally would with any parachute dry. Work up and then back down. Great. For the rib, we're going to use some crystal flash. This good stuff. It just gives it a little bit of something extra. You don't have to do this part. Capture that with the pinch wrap. Work it down the shank. Trim this extra piece up top. For our dubbing, we're going to use some hair's ear plus dubbing. The plus gives you a little bit of antron, a little bit of sparkle. It's built in. It's important to use way less than you think with this dubbing and can build up quickly. I tend to keep these pretty slender, but I do like a little bit of a taper. And you can see this hair's ear dubbing is real buggy. Lots of guard hairs in it. It sticks out. I like this dubbing for nymphs, for soft tackles, for emergers like this. It just looks like it's alive. Grab a little, just a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'll wrap your crystal flash up the shank here. Open wraps, capture it. Tie it off, trim it, call it good there. Now grab some dry fly hackle. This is Grizzly from a Whiting 100 pack. Really convenient. They're all sized out ahead of time. You don't have to work very hard. Trim that hackle for the tie-in point. And carry it up the post. Work your way back down. Tie it off. Trim the stem. Try not to trim your thread. Now we're going to use some Adams Gray Super Fine. You could totally tie the rest of this fly with that hair's ear, or you can tie it all with the Super Fine dubbing. But this is what I like to play around with, what I like to create with a two-tone type of look. You can always add more, don't use too much out of the gate. Big thing is to make sure you've got this post covered. behind as well. 
any gaps. Make sure you rotate your vise. Take a look, make sure you're happy. All right. For this next step, it's really important that you bring your bobbin around and your thread, and it's gonna be resting on the near side, my side here. I'm not tying this fly off up at the eye. I'm actually gonna tie it off on the post. Grab your hackle pliers. And we're gonna start at the top and work your way down. You can go a little bit bigger hackle wise if you want, if you have some extra hackle around that's a little bit larger than you can use on other flies. I think it doesn't take away from this fly at all. It probably gives it better flotation if anything else. Tie it off down at the bottom. I give it about three wraps. Come in with your scissors, trim the edge or trim the stem off. And again, I finished here with the thread on the near side of the hook, not up at the eye. Grab your whip finisher. And we're actually gonna whip finish right off to the post. You can do between three and five wraps here. I usually stick with three or four. Make sure it's seated really well. Come in, snip that. All right. Now to stem the to trim this parapost up here, usually we like to trim it about the, the gap width of the hook here or the length of the hackle. I don't like it too tall, doesn't need to be riding too high on the water. You'll be able to see this very easily. All right, that's the clink hammer style Adams. Tie a few of these up, switch up the colors. If you want to match sulfurs, you know, go with maybe a creamy yellow. If you want to match isos, maybe go with a rusty brown up here. This is a really good platform to expand on. Uh, if you have questions, let us know. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope to see you out there on the water.